Welcome to the Brew For You Show, sponsored by the Beer Loons. Check out BeerLoons.com today for beer reviews, brewing tips, and beer products. And now, here is your host, Mike Campbell. Hello everyone, I am your host, Mike Campbell, and welcome to Brew For You. Today, our beer review is going to be from Lucky Bucket Brewing Company, and it's their IPA. We're going to get it into that in just one second, but we want to know what you think of the new format. Please get in touch with us by emailing us at brewforyou at beerloons.com or call our beer line at 512-827-0505, extension 5957, or of course check us out on Facebook or Twitter. Just look us up by Beer Loons. We do want to hear what from you on what you think what types of things you're looking for and how we can make things better so now is your chance to get heard in the craft beer world so let's give you a little background on lucky bucket ipa uh, they're out of la vista nebraska this is an american ipa first re- release date was back in 2009 it is 6.3 percent alcohol by volume and 65 ibus They use Amarillo, Centennial, and Cascade hops in this beer. One of the unique things with it is uh, the wort is run through a hop back and then is dry hopped as well. This really gives a very unique uh, hop utilization to the uh, beer itself. You do want to serve this beer around uh, 45 to 50 degrees. That would be Fahrenheit. And the proper glass should be a pint or mug. So let's go ahead and get right into the review here. And this beer does pour into the glass with a nice copper color. And it is it does have a cream head that has pretty much a medium bubble and kind of a medium fade time. Uh, I wouldn't say it's slow, I wouldn't say it's fast. It just kind of does its thing, which is great. In the nose or the aroma of this beer, you pick up notes of kind of a grassy and piney and woody, a very natural aroma to this beer. I did pick up also a tinge of a little uh, green apple as well. So just just a hint, and um, you certainly pick up on the malt as well, a little bit with the grain uh, being in there. So a little sweetness in the aroma. Not much, but just a little bit. So tasting-wise, we get a beer that is hop-forward like an IPA should be. Uh, very, uh, what's the term, uh, very balanced or very uh, rounded. Uh, the hop flavor kind of remains throughout. And again, similar to the uh, aroma, uh, you get a, a little bit of kind of grassiness and um, woodiness. Again, very, uh, very earth tone orientated. Um, you know, in, in the aftertaste, there is a little bit of a bite, um, but nothing too major. Um, but when I say kind of grass, this reminds me a lot, uh, and obviously, as I said earlier, we know the hops involved, which are more American varieties, but, um, there's some of them take on the characteristics of the European, uh, varieties that are out there. And where we do have the American hop bite to it. It's not as smooth as some of the, the European versions, but the um, hops really kind of uh, bring it down to earth. It's not as citrusy as a lot of the Americans, so very nice uh, hop flavor. Uh, body on this beer is uh, medium light and definitely on the hoppy side like an IPA should be. Hop scale, I'm going to give it um, probably a 7 out of 10, which is about above average on the hops. And an overall rating of, this is a nice beer. This is a good American IPA, uh, enjoyable. I'm going to give it an 81 out of 100. So very nice beer. If you get a chance, check out the Lucky Bucket Brewing IPA. And that's going to do it for this episode. And until next one, cheers. Cheers.